Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I'm going to carefully put this camera back up on the tripod without turning it off and I'll try not to get too upset because honestly this is the third time I've done this. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I can't understand why when I put that there. I'm getting too over, I don't know, excited, anxious, something <laughs> silly. But anyway, I've come back on today to show you I've got some lovely stuff from Irene. And I'm so sorry, Irene, that I was very surprised and very happy, believe you me, when I got it out of the parcel, um, that you sent me all this lovely stuff. And I really, really appreciate this. I really do. Um, I have done this video twice and or three times. I just went to take the camera to go out to put it up on the... I'm going to look in there to see if it's still going. It still says it's got a spread dot on. But anyway... <laughs> oh dear, I've got, really got myself into a... Anyway, I'm so sorry that Irene this took so long to do this. Now, this is lovely, this beautiful lace she sent me. Uh, it is a eyelet or a Broderon glaze. And I think the Broderon glaze it means because it's got... Um, embroidery on it okay as well as the little holes embroidered on it as well so you can be eyelet lace or embroidered on glaze because I was talking to Irene about the other day and I just think that um, you know I, I think I like it to be called embroidered on glaze it doesn't really matter it's just says it's got the, the, just, the difference is it's just got embroidery on it too and it's cotton with embroidery and it, it use this for heirloom sewing or um whatever you want to do you can put it in um you know you can put it in your little books little little lace books that you make uh, i've used it before maybe not this wide um or bigger pattern maybe in um christening gowns um and uh pillar cases and things like that you know because it's really good for all that sort of thing your pillar shams and things so that's really really beautiful thank you so much i've got a really good pile of that that's that's really very nice thank you um, she's also sent me this really 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 nice um, trim uh, I really like that I said when I seen it on there I said to her well I really like that trim you got that's really nice if I say that to her she sends them to me <laughs> it's very nice of you to do that I really appreciate it um, I'm going to try and do a project or two out of these things and see what how they go but this is very soft very very delicate sort of thing you know, um, it's very, very nice. I like that. Uh, and this one here, this is a very soft one too that um, that I've got. She sent me. Uh, these are on her zip at store. And you just go to that by going on her YouTube and then you click on where that little icon thing is on the bottom. I hope I'm telling you the right way to look. But anyway, she told us how to find this. So. And I said, I think it's really cool too because you don't have to worry about it going to zip it. You just click right in there and then you end up there. So that was really cool, cool that way of getting there. But I like that. That's a really nice one too. That's a cotton. Um, these I love. Love these beads. They're, I think everybody does. We give really like these string beads, stringy pearl things. Um, I think she did have some flat back ones as well. You know, like they're on a string but they're flat. And But that's nice. I like either way, whichever, you know whichever sort, but these, these are really nice, aren't they? So, um, when you go to stick them on, though, you've got to just be very careful they don't move. Yeah, you put them on nice and straight. But this is a really nice colour, like a nice antique creamy colour. That's pretty. I like that one. That's very nice. Now, oh, look at these. <laughs> look at these. Aren't these amazing? I love these little guitars. No, they're not giving us their violins on it. <laughs> I love these. I, re I fell in love with these as soon as I've seen them. For some reason, I think I've seen them a l like a little bit bigger, and I wasn't really over sure whether I liked them bigger, you know? And when I've seen these, these are just the right size, aren't they? You can put these in your, you know, them boxes that we make with all the goodies sitting in them, and oh, whatever, I can't remember what they're called now. But anyway, they got and they've got a little hole in either end, so you can tie them up you know, on the, with a bit of ribbon, put something through, put a link, a chain, a fruit or something and, and and use it for something, whatever you want to do with that, but I really love them. They're absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. 
and the teapots and birds. These birds and teapots. Look at that. And they got um, a fabric on one side and, and the timber on the other. So you can use whichever side you want. You know, you can paint that, colour it in or whatever. The same with the teapot. He's got the fabric on one side and um, just the tim timber on the other side. And, and they look really nice, don't they? You know, I reckon they, they'll do up really well as a few embellishments on things that we're making. I always find that it's really good if you've got some things ready to put on for embellishments. There's nothing worse than now. I've decided to, I've come to the conclusion that you need to have cards made too, just in case, because that's the last thing we always think about. I send our parcels the other day and never had a card to my name. Now that's something that I made, and I'm going to show you that in a minute, because I was talking about this before. Now these are really nice, I really love using these, they're really pretty, they're good as a snowflake, put them under your flowers and that's what I've used them for, um, might make a really good dolly with that teapot sitting on it on a, on a um, card, if you do your little teapot, you know, be, I don't know, does it look, yes look at that, it does look like it's sitting up there underneath that thing, let me see, a piece of paper here, Unless I've got to work either, you might be able to do white. Put it on there. Just put your teapot on there. But anyway, this um, thing, this applique, is good for putting the cabochons on. And I thought, I found that cabochon, but I didn't, I'd forgotten, and I put lace around that. I put, I get the lace and put it on there to see what it looked like. But so you can put them on the centre of that as well. Because they look good, and you could probably do a ribbon embroidery on that, put some rosebuds and things on there, that look really, really cool. Maybe some little French knots or something, look really, really nice. Um, so they're really beautiful. I'll have to show you how to do that, I think. I think of all these things I talk about, and then I forget about them. Oh, well, try not to. Now, I got a parcel previously from her, and this was when I won a little competition that she had, and she sent me these things, and I have been really... Oh, I don't know, things have been just happening around here and I never got a chance to film them, so I'm going to show you these. Look at them, aren't they nice? I did make the little um, uh, jelly beans that I did on the card out of the little cabochons that she sent me with the, with, the, uh, with this set of things that she sent me this time. I'll put these, these um, I'll just uh, take this one out of here. This, there's the little jelly beans there. I made them with the cabochons that I got from her. I just put them over the coloured, made them. So that's what so I got as well. Um, and this really nice white lace, and this one here too. This is a cotton one, cotton trim that she sells. These are beautiful. I love these blues. I absolutely think they're amazing. These blues. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You know, it's really strange. And it never ever occurred to me. I was bridesmaid four times and I wore blue three times and the last time I got married I wore blue. <laughs> I had a lot of these blue <laughs> I don't know why that come to mind when I said this but I did I suppose you yeah. Four times I wore a blue and they were different, different dresses. Four times were blue the last one was one was red. Oh dear had to be a red bridesmaid. Never mind. <laughs> uh, a long time ago. Now um so these is beautiful too, isn't it? I've gone off the track here. This is really nice. I like this. So you put some little beads and things around it too. You know, you sit there and just put them on. And then when you've got all that done, you can put it onto something. And I love the colour of this. This is beautiful, isn't it? Yes, this came in this first, this other parcel she sent me the other day. Yesterday. Today. Today. She sent me this today. But I put it with that because I was, like I said, I've, I've done this before and I just wrecked it. And if it's wrecked this time, I'm sorry, Irene. I'm, I'm a very bad lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit tired because I've had a really big day today doing bits and pieces. And yesterday I went and did some shopping. I went and got carried away with the shopping. Oh, well, I wanted to buy new appliances for the house, so I did that. Oh, well, kitchen things was, you know, so I did that. And that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. But anyway, so I'm a bit tired today. But this is really nice, isn't it? Really beautiful, this rose trim that she sells this too. Absolutely lovely. And here is another. I really like this because I don't know, but it seems to me to be looking like it's really old, you know? Like, uh, 
if it doesn't matter if it is, nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's really nice because the way that it's done, compared to the one that's here, might be just a maybe this is more of a braid on glaze because it's got more of a more embroidery in that on it. I don't know, but they're all done by machine. But if you did hand embroidery, they'd still be um, really, really nice, wouldn't they? A lot of work. A lot of work. I'll get in paper caught on that. Anyway, I really appreciate all this beautiful stuff that you've sent to me, Irene. I really do. And um, <laughs> I've been having a really good time doing lots of bits and pieces today. I might show you a video tomorrow if I can manage to make one without wrecking it again. <laughs> show you what I've been doing. Because I've been watching a few other ladies do a few things. So I thought I'd have a go too. Have a bit of a, have a, bit of a go. So thank you very much everybody and I'll talk to you later and everybody have a lovely day, night or whatever it is that you're doing now. Okay? Talk to you later.